It's Concert Friday here at the God Minute. So glad you joined us where, of course, we let a piece of music lead us in our reflection. Thanks for coming. Thanks for praying with us. I'm Father Ron, and this is Concert Friday at the God Minute. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth, mouth shall declare, declare your praise. praise. Psalm 113, Praise of God's Care for the Poor Praise you servants of the Lord, praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord both now and forever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, let the name of the Lord be praised. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens his glory. Who is like the Lord our God, enthroned on high, looking down on heaven and earth? He raises the needy from the dust, lifts the poor from the ash heap, seats them with princes, the princes of the people. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Psalm 34, verse 18. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. 2020 has been a really bad year so far. <laughs> you know, I think probably all of us would agree with that. With all the stuff going on in our world, so many people are asking the question, where is God? Why would he allow this to happen? Kind of the sense of feeling abandoned. And at times, I got to say, I feel it too. Maybe it's just human nature. You know, in the midst of darkness and brokenness, we, we just wonder if God is still in control or if he has just forsaken us. And when I'm tempted to fall into that thinking, I remember, I remember other occasions in my life where I have been in a broken place, full of pain, not understanding or seeing the way out, and how turning to God, light, always broke through the darkness. How I was lifted up and turned from despair into hope when I gave it completely, surrendered it to God. When I truly listened and believed in his promises. The same one we hear in this scripture today. From him, God. I am close to the brokenhearted, he says, and save those who are crushed in spirit. Amen. <laughs> and this is the story that I'll tell for the rest of my life, that God is truly near to the brokenhearted, to those who are crushed in spirit, that God is there even when you don't feel him. He is good, faithful, merciful. I mean, we, he and I, we've been through so much together and I know him in a more intimate way because of what we went through. He never failed me. His hand was upon me the entire time. It's hard to see 
what you are doing here in the ruins and where this will lead. Oh, but I know that down through the years, I look on this moment and see your hand on it and know you were Testify of the battles you've won. How you were my portion when there wasn't enough. And I'll testify of the seas that we've crossed. The waters you parted. The ways that I've walked Singing Oh, 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 oh My God did not fail yeah. oh, 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 It's the story I'll tell Singing Oh, 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 oh I know we
that I want Singing Oh, oh, oh My God did not fail Never ever fail me Oh, oh, oh It's the story I'll tell What's my testimony Oh A great way to move us into the weekend, for sure. Thanks for praying with us today. May Almighty God bless you, those you love, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. See you tomorrow. <laughs>